Good morning, evening, afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory to God. Um, my hair is done by my eight-year-old, and I'm low-key kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it, except for like this, there's no even, but that's not the point. I love it, and I love spending time with her, and I love the family that God has blessed me with. So I hope you guys are doing well. If not, just remember that I need you to survive. I love that song. I need you to survive. That's the song I got put in my heart. And, um, this God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. And he's been good to me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, you know that God has smiled. Set me free. God has smiled on me, and He's been good to me. So good. God has been so good. Even when I don't feel good, even when I'm not good, He's still being good to me. And so I'm coming to you, to those who feel like, you know, like, oh, like I'm not that close with my family. I don't have, like, I'm not knitted together tightly with them and like you know this is the family god you know has given me through blood and the reason i say that and when i whenever i tell a story it's not to like oh shame those people it's to tell my story that it can help someone that can relate to my situation so we'll start earlier on this month um i was not invited to my cousin's wedding and most of my other um cousins were and like that really put a damper on me Nevertheless, it made me even more upset that my aunt that like lived not so far from him, like same area, was it? I'm just like, who don't invite me? But you know, I feel like she always feels left out sometimes, and like, why not? You know, just why not? Besides the point, I dealt with that. I was in my Bible group. They uplifted me. They encouraged me. They gave me scripture. They were like, girl, you was adopted into the most wonderful family of all, and you're sitting at the most wonderful dinner table, bridal table, or wedding banquet of all, you know? And I'm like, okay, y'all right, I love y'all. And then this week, I was in my feelings. I was in my feelings about like jealousy and um, envy this week. And I'm like, I really don't want to hop on Bible study, you know, I'm dealing with lust and issues like that. Like, I conquer lust. Like, when I see somebody, my brother in Christ, hi, he's like, you know, when I see somebody now, I think of like, that's God's daughter. That's God's daughter. I can't look at them that way. So I'm like, thank you, because that is God's son. And I don't like to be looking at him lustfully. And that's a sin. And so God forgive me. And so my intrusive dreams always get the best of me. And I'm just like, God, I'm just like, man, I've been abstinent for going on seven years and oh, thank you Jesus but like you know the flesh is weak and I fell into it and I wanted to but God forgive me that's besides the point so I was feeling iffy that morning a few days ago 